Hi everyone, so this video is going to talk about the different controls that are available. We'll start with the basic controls and get on to the advanced controls later on. Let's start with text box. Okay, so I'm going to put a label with each of them so we know what they are. Remember we've got a label control, so I need to go to the properties. So this is a text box. Okay, so it keeps it nice and simple for us. So text box, very simply, we do a preview allows you to enter text and, carry, and numbers, but essentially it's, it's a box for entering text. It's limited to one line as well. You'll notice in here as well, as, as we're going through, when I've got a text box or a different control selected, then we've got different options here. Read only uh, is required, minimum, maximum length, those sorts of things, and they can change depending on the control. Number box, very similar. Uh, designed for entering just numbers. And now we've got paragraph is a fairly recent. So next we have paragraph. So this is actually comes in as um, uh, in addition to label. So I wanted to talk about label later on, um, but let's talk about them now. So I'll just put them both on the screen. So a label is um, it's either going to be a, a heading, an introduction. So this is the start of the form which is fine, but the text doesn't wrap around. So I can make that 100%. So it goes at the top and we'll just push it up to the top there. Okay, that's good, but we got feedback from the users to say, uh, okay, that's nice, but actually we need more, uh, I need more text. So if you've got a lot of text you want to put in, just standard text in the form, um, use the paragraph for that. And you don't need to have a, a label for that necessarily. So you could just do it like so. Uh, put it in at 100 width and then enter your text. Okay. Now another great reason to use a label, just a, a little tip, is to use it as a spacer. So if I've got, um, I've got my text box, that takes up 75%. I've got my number box. Um, I've got a, say another number box in here. I want to go up there. Oh, in you go. Um, and I want to have a, a space in between. There's no, there's no space um, control or tool as such, but we can just then create an empty label. That would go in there. I'll put that again, we put that to 100, and that just takes up a bit of room. Okay, so when I preview it, it's invisible, but it gives you this nice spacing, which is when you're laying out a form is very important. Okay, so we'll leave that in there. Let's remove that, it doesn't need to be there. Um, a date picker, date time, I mean, they're self explanatory really. Uh, if you just need to record the date, or just need to record date time, you can do. Now when you're using these, bear in mind that the form or will automatically capture the time when the form is submitted. Okay, so if someone fills out a form and uploads it, then that time and date is already captured. So this could be another date, so date of installation, it could be, um, yeah, just, just another reason for, for capturing a date, uh, and similarly with date time. Timestamp, again, is quite, quite straightforward. Let's just put that one in. Um, uh, next up we've got text area. So this could be when you've got a lot of text to put in, more than what you've got in the text box. Um, so we can have a larger, a larger area to do that. So we could say it's got to be 150 pixels at least. Make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that's got a name, text area. Let's have a look at our forms looking. The text box, text area, you can see much bigger and that will expand if you put more text in. Uh, number box, date and time. and a timestamp. Okay. Uh, 
Right. Next up, drop down. Drop down lists, very flexible. Um, let's just call it drop down. And this can have any any values in it, and you need to define what those values are. Okay, so we select the drop down itself, um, and then we need to populate the list. So I can just add items manually. Um, so if we're talking about uh, project location, I could just add them manually like that. If you've got a list already defined in a spreadsheet, you can upload with a CSV file. So rather than typing them all out manually, you can just pop that in. Okay, let's save that. So that's my drop down list. Um, similar to a drop down list, I've got a user list. So all this does, let's pop that in. And this looks at all of the project participants. And remember, we're working within a connected project. Um, so it will understand all of the current participants. And when you pull that drop down, it will give you all of those, those people to choose from. OK, so it could be you know responsible party assigned to that sort of thing. Now multi-select. Let's just similar to a drop down, but we can select more than one. Option. Let's save those and let's have a look at how those are working. Okay, so my drop down list, I can obviously pick location A, B, or C. Uh, my user list, I'm already populated with current users on the project. And then area, I can use control and select more than one. Checkbox, very straightforward. Um, it does have a label as well. Not much to say about that one, just a checkbox. Um, image. So this will typically be a logo. So if I pick the Bentley logo, so that can be a logo at the top of the form. Let's put that up there. Anything to remember with logos is that the um, if you put it, if you set it as a percentage width, then it can look a bit strange because the height is in pixels. So I tend to keep this the same, keep the ratio the same, um, and then just have a bit of padding in there so that it, it looks OK. So I could probably put that to 75, and it'd probably be OK for most devices. Um, just one of those things you have to take a look at. So PhotoDrop and File Upload are very similar. Um, PhotoDrop was, again, it was a customer need that they said, well, we've got multiple sections to the form and we need photographs to go in related to this particular other field. So if I've got a number box and it's recording, I don't know, a certain piece of information um, here, I might want a photograph to go along with it. So that's what that is. PhotoDrop. Um, file Upload is just going to append a file to the form in general. Okay, it could be multiple files, it could be one or more, it tends to be phot photographs. Uh, let's pop a signature on there. Um, and this is where we start to see it's dropping off. So I've got a warning saying controls exist outside the visible boundaries of the region canvas fix. So if I click on fix, I'll pop that down, it'll just make the canvas a little bit longer. Okay, so the next video would we'll look at uh, these advanced controls, and then we'll look at bindings. Thanks for watching.